Um, this is a, a policy that can lift the floor. So going back to the earlier discussion about taxing the rich and how do we redistribute, well, you, could, you can improve the income distribution by lifting the floor. And if you set the wage at the appropriate level, then uh, uh, that would um, lift people out of poverty. Okay, it's a permanent program. And by permanent program, again, I just want to emphasize that it, just doesn't, it doesn't mean more demand. It might mean more better distributed demand. Okay, the job guarantee, the macro stability, um, the, just let me touch on this once again, that the wage provides an inbuilt inflation uh, control mechanism. Um, this is because the compensation package establishes the floor. Uh, this is the floor to a standard of living for the entire nation. Um, again, you spend on this fixed price floating quantity rule. This is what uh, the previous speakers were alluding to previously. You fix the price of labor and then let the, blood, the budget float uh, with, with the needs of the economy. When the economy decelerates, the budget expands as those workers enter the public sector. As the economy, so it has an expansionary effect. When the economy grows, the budget automatically contracts as workers move out into private sector jobs. Um, so that's the counter-cyclical me mechanism. And wa wages become benchmark for the prices uh, to the extent that wages are an input um, of uh, production of all reproducible assets, then um, that will serve as an anchor to uh, prices as well. Okay, so full, full employment and price stability um, also promotes uh, currency stability. And uh, the idea here is that we, you know, we are establishing better anchors than the current uh, system. We use labor as um, that anchor.